What's up everybody, it is Bourgeois here and today we will be discussing the oscillator sub and mixer modules in the Helm synthesizer. Starting with the oscillators. The oscillator is one of three sound producers in Helm. You are given two oscillators in this module with duplicate controls. To understand this module we can break it down into four different parts and that is the waveform selector, the cross modulation, the tune and transpose, and the unison. Starting with the waveform selector, it's this little graph thing right here. You are given some various different waveforms to choose from, and using these waveforms, you can change the timbre of the oscillator. The waveforms you're given are the sine, the triangle, square, saw up, saw down, three step, four step, eight step, three pyramid, five pyramid, and the nine pyramid. On the other oscillator, you're given the same exact waveforms. If you left click on the waveform selector, it will advance a waveform. If you right click, it will go back to the previous waveform. Next we have the cross modulation and that is the knob in between the two waveform selectors and the cross modulation is another way to change the timbre of the oscillators. This works in which the left oscillator modulates the phase of the right oscillator then the right oscillator modulates the tone of the left oscillator. The oscillators are simplified to a sine wave before the modulation is applied. So to demonstrate what this sounds like. Next we have the tune and transpose. The tune and transpose set the pitch of each oscillator relative to the note played. The transpose sets how many semitones to change the pitch and the tune sets how many additional cents, one one hundredth of a semitone, to change the pitch. So in this demonstration I'll show you one oscillator with a sine wave. Last for this section we have the unison section which the unison creates multiple instances of the left and right oscillator. The top left controls the number of voices or oscillator instances, the bottom controls the span of frequencies the oscillators get. So if you look over here we will use a saw in this instance and if you look here by the V it stands for voices and, that's, and the number is how many voices are being um, stacked. And so if you in this instance and in this case you have one. You can have three, all the way up to 15. And using this unison detune, you could spread out or change sort of the phase of those voices. Last, there is an H button right here, which stands for harmonize. And when it's selected, the uh, each voice of the oscillator will play a harmonic of the played note. And this is intended to create a harmonically rich tone. The next module we have is the sub module. The sub module is another sound producer in Helm, and it is like the oscillator module except that it controls a single oscillator by that by default plays one octave below the currently played note. We can understand the sub module in three parts, that is the waveform selector, the shuffle, and the octave down. So the waveform selector works a lot like the oscillator module in which you're given various different waveforms to change the timbre of the oscillator and you have the same waveforms. You also have a shuffle knob which the shuffle knob is basically like a pulse width control. Essentially as you increase the shuffle the sub oscillator will lengthen and shorten every other waveform. So if you refer to the oscilloscope up in the corner right here you will get to see how the waveform changes as they increase the shuffle. Last for this module we have the octave down switch. The octave down switch will shift the sub oscillator down an extra octave giving you a total of two octaves to work with. Last for this video is the mixer module. The mixer module is essentially where the gain of each oscillator sound source and also the white noise sound source which is the third sound source in Helm. It is controlled with the fader in the mixer. And these sound sources will combine at various different volumes and will get passed into the feedback module and to the other various modules in the Helm synthesizer. If you refer to the last video that was made, there was an animation that showed how sound is circulated through the whole synth. And in further tutorials, we're going to be discussing those in more depth. 
as the tutorials progress. I hope you found this one helpful. Stay posted for the next one. I thank you so much for watching. Until next time.